Right. A lot. Gas prices yeah. are going up, and there is no telling when they're going to stop. So how much of the increase has to do with the Colonial Pipeline shutdown? Christina Gonzalez has the story. Pipeline shutdown back east, which has nothing to do with our gasoline because we don't get gas there. Consumer watchdogs Jamie Core talking about why gas prices have been going up dramatically in California. In Riverside County, for example, they have increased every day for the last two weeks. There is a, a bigger demand coming uh, in the future because more people are coming out of their houses from COVID and getting on the road. But check this out. Since the beginning of the year, the price at the pump in Riverside County has jumped up almost 90 cents. It's 4.6 cents higher than one week ago, 15.5 cents more than a month ago, and 1.36 cents more than a year ago. But if you compare to pre-COVID times, it's 4.3 cents more now than in May of 2019. Uh, there's a saying in the uh, oil industry, prices uh, go up like a rocket and come down like a feather. Once they go up, they don't come down very fast. I noticed they go up right when the summer is going to be here, and then they go back down when the winter, when people don't go on, on a vacation. Yep, that more expensive summer blend California uses, which gas companies also blame for the increases. The summer blend doesn't cost more than literally, you know, pennies to make. But because there's a, a, a special blend that we can't import from other places, they use this as an opportunity to charge us more. So if it's not necessarily the summer blend, post-COVID usage increase or the East Coast pipeline, what is it? Well, it's the fear of gas shortages. When there is a perceived shock to the market, prices spike up. You can hear ka-ching, ka-ching in their bank accounts. Uh, anytime there is a panic in the market, even if it's a terrorist threat to a pipeline 3,000 miles away that has nothing to do with the gasoline we get. And no comment from the major gas companies that we've reached out to. In the Harupa Valley area, I'm Christina Gonzalez.